You're going to hear an audio tape of Grandma Yola Banker, Grandma Yola Martinet, Martina. There she is right there on the left. And there's her dad, Dante, behind them. And there's my mom, Yolanda Lani, Banker at that time. Um, this is when she graduated from... Um, USC Pharmacy School in 1967. And here is an audio tape. This was, I was we looking for a place to eat. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> and it was so funny. Yeah. And I was, was driving. Yeah. And um, I said, right. what do you want to go eat tonight? I guess this is... Uh, a recording. It was like a conversation between Grandma Yola and um, my mom, Lonnie. There we go. What do you want to go eat tonight? And he said, Well, I don't know. I don't want to go This tape is really bad. Oh, you don't plan for it. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
had to pull off the road. I really laughed so hard. <laughs> when you laugh so hard, your eyes kind of squeeze up and you can't see the road. <laughs> a photo of my mom Yolanda Lani uh, banker still at that time uh, with her first husband Al and his last name was LeCount so oh and there's uh, my mom's friend Trini behind them there uh, and there's um, Al's little boy he had a, a son um, uh, I forgot his name. It starts with the G. Uh, so my mom was kind of like the stepmom to him. He had a had a mom of his own, of course. And here's my little playhouse. It's with the neighbor kid. Uh, by the fig tree, probably somewhere at 35. Uh, in the side yard there, you know. It's another house, I think. A neighbor house. I didn't know we had a, a, a little play area there, but set something up. <laughs> Here I am. In the fig tree. I guess that's a uh, painting I must have made. Hanging from the tree. Looks like we drew on there, I guess. So some of the restaurants that Grandma Yola and my mom, Lani, uh, mentioned were uh, restaurants that we would go to uh, when we lived in um, Westwood by UCLA. Um, like the Mustache, it was kind of a relatively fancy, uh, just all-American restaurant, pastas and meats and things like that. Yeah, and so we lived close enough to town that we could uh, walk to some restaurants. And the California Pizza Kitchen was within walking distance, but probably a little too far for Grandma Yola, for sure. This is in Palm Springs. My mom, Yolanda Lani, her brother, Jack, and their dad, my grandpa, Bob, Grandpa Bob, Robert Lemuel Banker. And Jack's motor home. Well, I'm not sure where this was taken, but um, we see Grandma Yola's parents. So on the right, it's Ida, her mom, and on the left, it's Dante, her dad. And uh, somehow Dante looks a little bit fatter there than in the other photos. He usually was quite thin. It must have been baggy pants. And then maybe when he got a little bit older uh, and, and retired from working as a cement man, maybe he put on some pounds. I think he lived to be about 87. Look how good Ida looks. High heels and some kind of sand. And my mom was probably still in high school there. It looks like she was possibly about 16, 15, I don't know. I 
I'm not sure if they were dyeing their hair or not. Probably not. Kind of similar color at that point. Here's Grandmama later on. Where is that? Maybe... I don't want to say 9845. I recognize that lamp, one we used to have in our house. There's Grandpa Bob. Looks like we got some good grapes and maybe blueberries. Grandma Yola loved grapes. Um, especially these sweet little ones. Um, where are they? Um, like teardrop grapes. So very small, sweet, uh, greenish, but they uh, they turn kind of uh, a yellow color. Well, they were only available for short amounts of time, for certain places hard to find. Little strawberries we had there. Nice little picnic outside. Yeah, I think that's forty-five. There's Grandmama, Ida. She has a necklace on and earrings. This was before her stroke. Of course. It's me at school. Let's celebrate learning. So I don't know, maybe we got an award or something. Here I am. You can kind of see my tan. I spent a lot of time outside. Here I am riding my little horsey, the in the house, 9863. You can see the pool table back there too, to the left. It's white. And uh, the round white and black table that uh, Grandpa or uh, Dante built himself. That's why I like horses. Let's see. There's outside in the yard a, a neighbor friend of mine. Um, you can just see her. Some kind of fort or something. It's, it looks like. Uh, a mess, but let's say the um, fig tree in the front at 9835. It was easy to climb that one with the low branches. Boy, we made a mess, but Grandma Yola and Grandpa Bob didn't seem to mind. <laughs> I think we dug up their yard, as you can see, and in this photo, also at 35, in the back there, uh, by the back fence, by the avocado trees, looks like uh, mostly some neighbors, probably in the back there to the right, it's probably Zach, I'm thinking, my neighbor, and me, and it sure looks like we've been digging, what do I have in my hand, it's uh, doesn't look like a shovel, it looks more like a hole to really dig through some roots with, I guess. There's Grandpa Bob at 9835 by the fireplace. It's the uh, Franklin stove kind of fireplace and bookshelves. 
Grandma Yola kept it looking nice like that. I, I don't know how to keep a nice house. Mine turns into a disaster all the time. But yeah, she kept it looking nice. I think Grandpa Bob was uh, always thinking, you know, just and always rethinking too. I, I just listened to a TED talk um, about how important it is to rethink things and not just go with, you know, what you thought was right. Um, and I think that would have helped me with Grandma Yola. I should have rethought my strategy. I, I kind of completely uh, didn't even consider taking her to the doctor during the COVID pandemic of 2020 because I didn't want her to catch the disease. And uh, I, I didn't think she could wear the mask very well. I thought, you know, I had an N95 mask, a really good mask to keep her safe. But I thought, um, you know, she's not going to be able to breathe. She's not going to be comfortable. And I think I needed to rethink that, you know, rethink the consequences of um, by not even trying out the mask. You know, I should have at least tried it on her. And that's a big regret I have is not even trying it, just assuming she won't be able to breathe and she would... Hated and I didn't reconsider now, you know, how could I make it work of going to the doctor? Like, um, you know, the, my fear was waiting in the waiting room with other sick people that might have had the virus, COVID, and her getting it there. But if I had rethought it, maybe I could have thought, well, I could leave Grandma Yola in the car you know, in the van or, or just outside because um, it was really hot too and smoky and everything. We had some fires. <laughs> um, but, you know, I could have left her outside in her wheelchair and just waited, you know, myself inside and then I could have brought her in and, and, and she could have just worn the mask for a short amount of time, you know, for, for a few minutes and that would have maybe been a tiny bit uncomfortable, but it would have been a lot better than being stuck in the hospital by herself for five days and having operations and getting all kinds of tests done and um, and then dying. <laughs> so <laughs> it's very important to rethink um, and not, you know, if you've kind of um, put an idea you know, just off the table, uh, put it back on the table, put the idea back on the table, um, just for fun thinking exercise, you know, and just see if there was any way to make it work. So, here I am with a neighbor friend again. I think I was probably about five there. Maybe six, I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, this is a great picture. Look at this on the far right here you can see the mission uh, that Grandpa Bob was helping me build for a school project in the fourth grade we had to build a mission and our mission that uh, they told us to build was the uh, San Luis Obispo bridge I uh, said bridge <laughs> San, Luis San Luis Obispo um, mission Oh yeah, it's really nice to see. All dressed up for something. It's 
right about the time I know Grandma Yola wore that outfit when we went to Napa Valley for Grandma and Grandpa's um, 50th wedding anniversary so this must have been maybe hard to say maybe a year you know within a year or so of when we went on that trip I just kind of think that maybe I look a little bit younger in this picture than some of the than some of the Napa Valley pictures, but uh, close, you know, off by maybe a year. Oh, that's a good, good one to end with. This photo was taken 9845.